you know something? We we brought up Michael Jordan earlier. Let's 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 go on a lighter note. But who knows? With us two, this could turn into <laughs> something deep. Who knows? Um, we brought up Michael Jordan earlier. What what is your thoughts on Scottie Pippen's ex wife dating Jordan's son Marcus? Damn man, I've been really out of touch. You mean to tell me? Come on, yo, get get out of here, man. Just say I don't want to answer this. There ain't no, no way. No, man, I'm gonna answer it. I'm gonna answer it because it's just the absurdity of it. But you mean to tell me that Scotty Pittman's wait a minute, <laughs> Scotty Pittman's son. No, Scotty Pippen's ex-wife, Larsa Pippen. Okay. He shares. He was married for something like. 20 I know. He, as I read his book, I read his book. He, he, he shares four children with this woman. Right. Woman. She is, I believe, forty-eight years old, and she is dating Michael Jordan's oldest son, Marcus Jordan, who is thirty-six years old. They no. are an item. Man, you ain't got to say no more. You know what they say, and I'm gonna bring it to you real. There's nothing like a woman scorned. So that means that this is vengeance on the highest level. This is some serious get back. You ain't, you ain't got to tell me the backstory. You ain't got to all you got to do is tell me who she is and who he is, and I'll put it together. That's what that is, man. That's some get back. That's what that is. Yo, I, I'm gonna tell you, I I I've talked about this subject. Um in the past, and in, 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 I mean, she was with Scotty when he was playing with Jordan in the mid nineties. She was right there when he won some of them championships with Jordans. I believe she got with Scotty when she was 21 years old, 2021. How do you date? This man's son, who you 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 could say I didn't know him, I just met him. That's some BS. That's a woman scorn, man. That's a woman scorn. We all know deep down, like you said, you know, you talk about the what we think. We all know that's a woman scorn, man. That's a, that's a woman scorn because just out of principle, you don't do that. There's certain things you don't do out of principle. You understand what I'm saying? So for her to do that, she has broken that code, that principle. So that's a woman scorn. That's what that is. Yeah, I mean, um, I I would love, you know, it's everybody always talk about um Scotty. They talk about Michael Jordan and their thoughts. You know, I would really love to talk to 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 market to um Jordan's ex-wife, um, because that's her baby boy. And he's de dealing with this cougar. I would who who I'm sure, and I put Juanita is her name. Juanita Jordan. I'm sure Juanita was there when Marcus Jordan was a little boy hanging around this grown woman when she was then married to, to, to Pippin. But see, that's, I that's, that, that's, to hear her power, thoughts on it. that's the power of Coochie, because you know he probably say, Mama, you ain't got nothing to do with this. Stay out of this, Mama. Mama, stay out of this. I got that, Mama, stay out of this. So, you know, Coochie transcends all that, man. Coochie transcends the, the, the normal thinking, regular thinking or whatever, whatever. He probably enjoying that coochie. He's like, hey, I don't care what they say. It's you and me, baby. So that's that's what that is. No, she is putting something. I mean, let's just keep it 100. That man's last name is Jordan. Like, like, like it, it don't take too much digging, too much research, too much investigating. For somebody to realize, yo, that's Michael Jordan's son. I bet Michael you Jordan has a different opinion. I bet Michael Jordan said, hey, now write a book on that. Write another book. Write a book on that. I bet you he, you know, I do this, uh, I do this bit in my in my comedy, man, where I see you, because I have all sons. I got nothing but sons. And I was like, man, thank God I got sons. I feel, you know, for all of y'all out there with daughters, God bless you or whatever. You know, the, and, and all the men with daughters kind of go, ooh. And I said, well, you can do that, but let's keep it real. You know, two parents get called about their kids at school, one gave the other one a blowjob. Which parent would you want to be? You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> if you the father, you're like, hey, my boy's coming, especially out here in Hollywood. If you the dad, you're like, oh, no, not that. So Michael <laughs> Jordan is that parent that got the call and said, hey, your son, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> no, nah, I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is, man. I'm sure he is. Um, and, and I'm going to tell you, I'm, and I'll leave it here. To your point earlier, the power of the coochie, man, th that boy can have any, any woman he wants. Um, she must have put something on him for him to choose out of all of these women that are his age, out of all of these women walking around that want to uh, get with him for no other reason than I know I get with you. I, 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 you know, hey, it's like it's having... Adam, it's the Adam and Eve effect, brother. That must have been some good coochie in the garden of Eden to get him to eat that fruit that God told him. God told him, <laughs> don't eat this. You absolutely oh. right. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.